Percy, it's game of again. Uh, I'm having a play with a new set called Sitting Pretty. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful little bulldog. You've got a bird, a squirrel, a gorgeous beige and planter, this beautiful bench. And you've got some wonderful sayings. You've got best friends, sitting, thinking, missing you. Anywhere with you is better than anywhere without you. It's just a lovely set. Inside you get the dice to match, which will cut out that bench, but it will also cut out like a park bench. This is one for a garden and beautiful vases and stuff. And uh, I just thought I'd have a play. I have cut out the bench. In fact, I cut two out. There's two stuck together there because I wanted a bit of depth. Um, so I've just used cards, a plain card at the back and this beautiful copper foil over the top. So I'm going to be using this in my card. And my card's not just plain and straightforward. It's you. I'm going to be using a waterfront as well. I have got blocks. I've got so much, so many projects on my desk I want to record. So I'm swapping blocks. I'm barging from here, there and everywhere. And I've got one lot of blocks filled with one stamp set from another card and blah, blah, blah. So I've got, I'll be swapping blocks back and forth, stamp sets. Uh, and it's a double Z fold card. Um, and I'm using mint macaron. I don't know why that's bubbling. But yeah, you look at this. This is a gorgeous um, share what you love design and series paper at the back. And I've used the waterfront to create like a park scene with trees and these beautiful little squirrels sitting there. I know he's a little bit big, but um, this beautiful bulldog and this sentiment saying sitting, thinking, missing you. And he does look a bit sad, bless him. But uh, started a few birds in the background. There is a bird that comes in this set, actually. But I wouldn't use it on this. A little bit too big, I think. Maybe to sit on the book. Yeah, I'm just going to... I love it. I absolutely think this card is absolutely brilliant. And it does... It's a standard size card, so it folds flat. And we've done all... I did all my scenery first. And then I added my creatures and the bench. And then decided to fill in the rest in green. So, But I think it turned out pretty well because I, I was able to give shade and under the animals because it would look a bit, a bit darker and the sun's there. So we're going to crack on because there's a lot of colouring to do. So here's my card pieces. This is that gorgeous designer series paper. And it's up to you which way round you want to use this. I mean, you could... These flowers are non-directional, so you could use these on the that way round if you wanted. It's entirely up to you. But in that gorgeous paper, absolutely stunning papers. But I'm going to stick to the green because I want it to look parky, like a park. It looks like a, a park out in America, doesn't it? Rather than a park over here, we haven't got mountains like that. <laughs> But it looks beautiful. So, card space is, yeah, base, sorry, is mint macaron. This is eight, four and an eighth by 11. And this is three by 11. And I'm just going to fold, burnish and score exactly the same way. So I'm going to get my two pieces. Whoops. And we're just going to pop them in. And we're just going to score. Score this at two and three quarters. Did that go on the right line then? No. Oh gosh, look at that. Two and three quarters and five and a half. So that's our base card. And again, the same with this one. Two and three quarters and five and a half. And I've been set I've been sitting here all afternoon. Thinking about projects to do. Scoffing popcorn. Oh my god, I love the sweet and salty popcorn. Oh my god, I love it. And I also love, oh, what's it called? This stuff. The one coated in toffee stuff. Oh, it's beautiful. Sorry. Mm, let me munch it on me. Sorry about that. So we're going to fold this in half, making sure our card's base. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Somebody ringing my mobile. I thought I could put it on silent. 
And they didn't even answer. But you can tell it's a call centre because you could hear all the fussing in the background. So I'm going to burnish this one this way and then this one is going to come back on itself. I'm making sure our joins are all in the right place. You're not going to see that, but if you want to come behind, if you ever get a, a, um, a score mark that you don't really need, just go behind and flatten it back out. This is going to get covered in design and series paper anyway. So we're going to burnish this the same way. Because this is going to be now the front of your card, you're going to fold this backwards onto itself, making sure the paper is against each other then you can really burnish and then this one is coming back on itself when I can open it there we go because you fold and burnish one way on one and the other way on the other because they go like this now that's how it's going on my card and I've done, I think I've done it by three inches. Yes, three inches because I want to see some of the designer series paper, top and bottom. I suppose you could have put strips in and nobody would have noticed. But I would, because you can see in the centre of your card. So, perfect. So let's get attaching. That way we can concentrate then on all that scenery we're going to put in. Oh my word. So I'm just using tear and tape because my glue for some reason is bubbling up my card as we just noticed it at the back. So, and I don't know where, I've run out of fast views. Oh, shavings. And shavings, not, <laughs> it's, a, it's a Welsh thing. If we get something wrong, we're in the company of others instead of saying the word we want to we just cover it up by saying shavings means oh poo otherwise <laughs> i know you're thinking oh what a shame to cover this paper but i think both sides are equally as gorgeous and the fact that you get four sheets of each oh my word beautiful so i'll use my phone folder make sure my tape is really stuck down that way when I come to peel the backing off, it's you know it's not going to lift the glue off the back as well. So let's get some tearing off. And then we can attach our pieces. And I've done these. This is three and seven eighths by five and a quarter because you want that nice little border all the way around. And these two are two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Again, you want that nice little board all the way round. Level this up with this. And then it should be level at the top as well, she says, Kevin. Oh, me and my cutting. There we go. So much easier to come off when you squash it down. There we go. Oops, I've dropped it down the floor. Look at that. Where am I like? Uh, I had a card come yesterday saying that customs were holding a parcel from the beautiful Inge. What? It's, I don't know why they do it to her all the time. It, it, I guess cards from America, Canada, Australia, and it just seems to be poor Inge's card. So, my darling, I paid it today for you. She spent $70 trying to get this parcel to me. And for £9.92 extra. Bless you, she's not well. She can't get to the post office. So, I've paid it, my darling. Because I would hate for it to go all the way back to you. And for you to spend when you're poor, when you're, pro, uh, you're not, when you're feeling better. Another $70 to get it here. And then for them to charge again. So, I've paid it for you, my darling. Should be here on Thursday. Don't tell the hubby. <laughs> I haven't told him. <laughs> God bless you, my darling. You've done so much for this competition. I'd hate to see everything go back. So I've got my scratch paper. I'm going to fetch in. And I'm, this is where I get to pick now and choose and swap and change. Because I've only got three small blocks. 
unless I take everything off. So these are the blocks I'm working with and this one, which has got my sentiment on still. But I'll have to use these because this is all I've got. I'm just so... I've got two lots of blocks as well. So I'm not using the water one. I'm using this mountain range. And we're using this one as well. And it's got a little hair. Oof. Uh, we were using the sun. And I think on oh, the trees. Just to block trees here, there and everywhere. So I used Sahara sand. And everything I get stamped, I stamp off again before I stamp it on my card. So... That's there so I can see. My desk is just got like about six projects on it, so but at least I can get six projects on it. Before I could only get one, and that was the one I was working on. Whoops, that didn't stamp very well. I'm basically just forming a line okay, across the top here. Just beautiful. I love this stamp set. Can't go wrong. It's just gorgeous. I'm going to do a dark one there. It was in the middle I actually wanted to go. So there goes my house phone now. Excuse me a moment. A third time. Lucky. Let's just hope we don't get disturbed again. <laughs> I do apologise, people. I'm not doing it on purpose, I promise. So I don't think I need the brown again yet. Um, because I'm going to use... Uh, uh, la, la, la. soft suede for the doggy and I'm going to stamp off, stamp off, stamp off so I've got my little cloth out I'm cleaning like mental as I'm going along as well and putting stuff away because like I say I'm short on blocks I may even put my little bench in a different position it just depends I don't know what all, and my coffee's going cold but you'd be surprised how many stamp sets that will actually merge together to make a beautiful scenery. It's unreal. So where are we going next? This one. And I'm using Pear Pizzazz. I should leave them. No, I should. If I left them all out, I'd never have space again because I've got every single colour going. But um, this is just to put a row here and then I'm switching it up to a slightly dark this is a distance color basically for the edge of here the range if you know what I mean so I just want a subtle subtle bit there and then I'm going to switch up for darker for my trunkle tide love that color when it comes to trees and distance again fabulous fabulous color so if you notice, I'm going up into the into the line, so not too much of the white is showing. So there we go, cleaning them off, get it back on its pad, and now now I'm freed up. So I've got my sentiment back on now, ready for late. You'd be surprised what we have to do as crafters, <laughs> especially when you get so used to having limited space. So I've got. Sahara, soft, so Sahara. <laughs> Do you know there's so many new colours coming out? Oh, my head's pickled, so I'm just gonna add. I want a subtle, subtle everything until we get to the vividness of the everything that's on the front of the card, because distance always seems a lot further away and a lot duller than close up. You need close up to be a lot, lot brighter. So, oh, where's my tranquil type? Oh, I love this colour. And I'm going to be using my aqua painter um, because, well, I'm going to be doing the grass area as well. Which I know this is only normal whisper white, but it can take a little bit. Um, oh, look, I've got smudges, but don't worry, that all adds to the ambiance. And we're going to be using some pool, uh, soft sky as well before this retires. So let me bob that out of the way. I'm just going to gently and quickly, I'm only adding one drop to maybe two. And I want the palest of colours for my sky. So 
I don't want to overdo it. It will buckle your paper a little wee bit, but don't worry. It's just subtle, really subtle. Go around my sun and relatively quick card, really. Um, well, not relatively quick. These bits can be as quick or as fast as you want them. You know, you can spend as much time because I've just done one card. I think the second one always comes a lot quicker because now I know where things are going, what I'm doing, but while you're actually planning your card, he you thinks, oh, what am I going to do here? Then you sort it out. And once you sort it out, time cracks on then. But that is my little subtle skyline. Absolutely brilliant. You can always go back in. Grab some shading. And air, air distance always seems fuzzy as well. Absolutely brilliant. I'm not going to wash this brush because I'm going to be using green next. And it's a lot darker. So uh, here comes. Whoa. I'm going to do all my grass area now. That is really, really dark. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to squirt my water now up in this corner. And I'm just going to take. And now look how pale that is, but it's, it's beautiful. I've got a bit of colour there. So I'm just dopping into that corner. And I'm smearing it as much as I can because I don't want to overly soak this paper. That beautiful colour. Again, I'm coming up to the corner. You can even use your finger to smear it. Get rid of some of that colour. And I'm merging into that grass line there as well. So, when I was doing it earlier, I was trying to avoid the the dog and the squirrels. I might only add the one squirrel under the bench. Because the other one in the distance looks the same size and yet you'd expect it to be a little bit smaller. Not bigger. So I'm just smushing, as you call it. Smushing. So going along. Green on green. Texture on texture. It gives that illusion and the... Oh, I don't know, it's just beautiful. And there's a little tuft of grass which goes beyond when you put the bench on. And it's so pretty. And I'm like I'm saying, I'm coming in for some dark, some pale. Using my finger as well. But don't rub too much because it can cause your papers to go bitty. Oh, I'm having a ball here. I love colouring. I've also got these projects to film. Plus make a birthday card for my father-in-law. It's his birthday on Friday. God bless him, he's a love. And mum, his wife wants me to make one for her to give to him. She's an amputee, so she can't go shopping, bless her soul. He normally goes to the card shop for her. I don't know. She she knows I make cards, but she just says she doesn't like putting on me. Putting on me. Oh my gosh, bless her. Because it's what it is. Because I won't take any money off her. I never charge her. Well, I don't charge anyone. I don't. You know, if you want a card, you have a card. As long as you cover the postage, anyone can have a card from me. And. Um, she she won't ask me because I won't charge her. I'm like, well, you're my mother-in-law. I'm not going to charge you. So I'm going for the darker bits now. See that? And I'm just splodging my brush down in certain areas. And blending that in. So just adds another dimension. 
and I just flick it on the end of the ink pad itself. I'm going to leave that out a minute. We're going to crack on with that in a bit. We'll try and get... Oh, I love it. Love it. I really should be doing my trees. So I will clean... Do you know, my absorber. Who needs tissue when you've got this? Watch. Squirt it on. This absorber can hold ten times its weight. Keep going. Find another bit. I can't really say I can find a clean bit, but oh, it's coming. I thought it was coming in, done then. Literally, there's hardly anything left color wise left in that brush now. Fabulous use for your absorber. Watch this as well. You've got all this debris in here. So if you don't want to leave that access, excess water in your lid, mop it up with that. And this, it still feels dry. So, right, coming on to our trees. Look at our Noma card, it's starting to buckle a bit. But when that gets glued down, it will straighten back out. Not too bad. So my trees now. I like the dark actually. I think that's brilliant. So I'm going. Just dotting. I'm not even going to do that double stamping stuff because I don't want paler trees behind. Just going to come on this side of here. And everything is daubed off, as you, like I said at the beginning. I am, and I'm going to come a little bit, I'm going to go with this side this time. And if I wanted to, instead of using black, for my, I could use Tranquil Tide full strength, which I think I might do this time. Don't get it in there. So my sentiment now is going on with my cloth. That is, <laughs> I'm going to put this right here. Look how beautiful that is. It's absolutely gorgeous. This set is... Oh, I'm going to be having a lot of fun with these sets. So again, I can take that and sentiment and pop it back. I am now going to be moving on with my... Wording. My doggy. I need him. I have space. I need to clean my trees and put them back. Ooh, where's that go? Oh, <laughs> where's that go? Hopefully it goes in here and in the right spot. So everything's back in there. I can close that up and get it out of the way. Perfection. I uh, need my green. We've got, look, we've got a little tuft of grass here that goes between those park benches. I want the outline of my doggy, the colour of my doggy, and I'm having the squirrels as well. So that's all I need out of there. I'm going to come in now and place my bench. And I'm thinking of putting it there this time, and the little doggy that side. So I want to use my glue. Oh, I get some deep thought when I'm doing stuff like this. But I doubled that uh, bench up because I did have it in a wood version because somebody sent me some wonderful papers. 
in the shape of wood. Not the wood text. It's like a cartoony type wood, but real life type of wood. And, uh, oh, absolutely stunning. If you was walking through this park or what they called, um, oh, parks, national parks, and you come across a bench like that, you'd yeah, definitely go and have a sit down. I know I would. Well, so you have got this tuft of grass. And it just goes in between the chair legs. Isn't that cute? Love it. And then again, this side. I think it works better this side. Oops, pulled off my chair leg. So what I did, I just dotted off and added some of this as well as a border. And I went between my trees. It's just so cute. And one more I'm going to go. And I'm going to fadely now add a bit of this here. Just to give it a bit of depth. I think that's perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. So, ah, now I need to use a scrap of paper. So I'm going to have to cut my little doggy out this time. Because like I'm saying, I did my doggy and then painted round him. I can't have a green bodied dog now, can I? <laughs> that would be a little weird. Oh, there goes my little grass tuft. I can pop that back because I'm a, I am a, a OCD. I can't do with things out of place. It really drives me insane. So that's my little squirrel. I can have my squirrel because he's going in brown. So I think it will mer uh, merge quite well. I'm just going to have him, he's just going under this little bench here, as if he's uh, hiding away, so. He's so reaching for some scraps, I might even just, I'll just do them on here and then cut them out because we've got dyes for this. So there's that beautiful little squirrel. Oh, and there's this. There's a trick to this reverse stamping as well, so you can have one face in one way and one face in the other way. Use your silicone mat. In fact, I'll show you while we're here. If I've got time. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of time. So, silicone mat. Find a nice clean area. Mine's covered in glitter. I've got another one coming, actually. I thought, why not? Keep one for just... Uh, So, ink him up. Press it down. And there you go, you've got him on the other side. Try not to rub too hard. But the same with the colour as well. But you'd have to have full strength, I think, for the colour. Where's my soft suede? Ah, but then I'm going to have to draw this on because I wouldn't know where to line it up. Mind you saying that? Yeah, I would. So I'm just... Doggies are outside. They've heard somebody. This, because it's photopolymer, it lines up perfect. And he's even got a little darker patch over his eye, look, isn't that cute? Thank God I'm, I'm scrubbing him out because I've just made a boo-boo. So clean doggy doggy, clean squirrel. Squeaky clean. <laughs> now I need this little, uh, this is the body of the squirrel. It looks like a bald hamster. <laughs> and this again lines up perfectly. So cute. 
how would I would literally just use a pen for this one and follow the pattern. That they've got on here. The half is mutton chop is and it's where his wrinkles are on this side. And the ear. Oh my gosh. And he would have this line then going down. He's got this squiggly line belly. And his paw is pure white. And then you could cut that out. Look, it's close as damn it, isn't it? Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, I love him. That is so cute. So you could use a pen uh, because you wouldn't be able to line up the markings without knowing where you stamp. It's different with the outline because you'd know where you were stamping. You just got to have a clear piece of paper. So that's the one I'm cutting out. And see if I can cut the two out while I'm there. And I will clean my mat. So give me two seconds. I'll just cut my squirrel dog out and then I'll be back. So there they are, both cut out. Oh my word, how sweet. I am just going to add my gorgeous little bulldog. He's just so cute. He's going to sit there and my little squirrels go in there. And I'm going to glue the squirrel down, but I'm going to pop him on dimensionals. Oh, am I? No, I'm going to do the two of them. So let's see if we can get a whole one in here. Yay. And I'm going to grab... And I call him Winston. He looks like a Winston to me. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. I love animals so much. I'm just uh, not prepared to lose any of mine. I'm getting old. Oh my gosh, that scares me. I don't want to be out without my poochies. I've had them since forever. I love them so much. Oh my god, don't I can't even think about it because I'll end up starting crying. The thought of losing my animals is it just kills me. It just kills me indeed. So there's little Winston sitting there. Oh my word, he's just the cutest dog ever. So I know my card, like I'm saying, is a bit but I don't think that matters once we attach. So what I'm going to do, I've turned it over this way and folded it. So I know where to add my tear and tape now. I did glue the last one. But I do prefer tear and tape. It's not coming off when this stuff's on. It's definitely not coming off. The thing is, lining it up is the trick here. Also, I'm going to add on the back of here. But what a sweet, sweet card. I love the scenery. I love the fact that we've incorporated two sets. There's other sets that would go with this as well. Oh, you know, can you imagine now that park scene like that again, maybe less intrusive with um, and the little bicycle the bike ride, somebody riding, you know, the bike stood up next to the park bench. Oh my God, I'm putting so many ideas in my own head. I think about them and then go away and then I forget all about them. <laughs> Not intentionally, just old age. Oh no, I've just added that now. Look at that silly sausage. So this is uh, the front. This is the back. So I'm going to go halfway, like I'm saying, it's got to come to the edge of the outer card. So I've got about half an inch either side. That is perfectly in place. 
So when I come that, oh, just look at that. Isn't that just the best? That is so cute. So let me fold this over. Peel off our backing. This should line up perfectly. It should, she says. Oops. So, we've got this straight. There we go. And if you do have a little bit of an hangover, you can just grab your scissors and trim that away. I don't know why there would be a hangover, especially when you... It's me and my trimmer. Just don't get along. We had a falling out. <laughs> no, we didn't. It just does. It's my eyesight. That's what it is. So there is. Oh my gosh. In that sitting, thinking, missing you. Oh my God. Winston, you look so cute. And this beautiful little squirrel. I don't think he spotted the squirrel. Otherwise, it would have been gone. So there's that card. This is that card as well. But with a slightly oh I've missed off look we've got a journaling pen a little gel journaling pen I'm not going to put that many birds in the sky I think it was a little bit overboard but I can see little boo boobs so I'm just going to gently dot a couple see anywhere else maybe a tingy one there because the further away they are the smaller they are and I think that's perfect. I'm going to leave it like that. But I love this. Anyone who loves animals, critters, Lorraine, you're going to love this set. I know. And I love the waterfront. But I hope you could, you could even do a little pool and do the lily pad, lily pad lake, which is another card I'm going to be doing over the next day or two. But look at little wind. He looks so sad, but this sentiment, I suppose, is worth all its weight in gold. So, this is how they stand up. They do fold flat for posting as well. And I do hope you give me a thumbs up and share and a subscribe. And uh, press the little bell as well. You'll be notified that way of all future videos. And I do try my best to post every single day. Take care. Love you all. And thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon. Bye.